Welcome to our GUC News. First, with the headlines. The Great Debate by TIQ. New materials in bone healing and medicine. Creating a malaria test for ancient human remains. Sunglasses on demand. Egypt is incomparable tourist destination. Shares in Challenger Bank one saving leap 8% as annual profits more than double driven by Grot in buy to let lending. The Smoking Singer Bayern Munich win 25th German League title Country Life Santa Barbara Zoo welcomes new baby giraffe Asha Now the news in full The GUC's club TIQ, The Intelligent Questions held their great debate on Friday 24th of April from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. at H4 This is the second time for TRQ to hold their great debate. The event featured GUC Music Ensemble, which performed blues and jazz music to entertain the audience. Today's topic was this house believes that sexism in the media is not that big of a deal. Uh, the, the topic came up by the board discussing what are the most controversial topics. I just want to start off with our vision. Uh, our vision is progress through effective communication and the perpetual seeking of knowledge. And that's really important to us. It's something that we try and kind of hold on to um, in everything we do. Uh, and it's you know, our vision after all, and so it's something that we try and service. A workshop was held at the GEC on Friday 24th of April, sponsored by the German academic exchange service DAD, titled New Materials in Bone Healing and Medicine. The aim of the workshop is to kick off the different activities and summarize the current status of research in magnesium, alloys in biomedical applications, biocompatibility, coating and simulation and computational methods in medicine. I am an engineer. And um, there are also partners here from the GOC which are which doing the um, uh, material research. And they're um, planning to um, um, uh, improve uh, so-called re resorbable materials. A Yale University scientist has developed a promising new method to identify malaria in bone marrow of ancient human remains. It is the first time researchers have been able to establish a diagnostic human skeletal profile for the disease, which is transmitted by mosquitoes and continue to infect millions of people a year. The new process may allow scientists to track the spread of malaria back to its first appearance in human population. The method, which works effectively on bones resistance to previous forms of testing, also may be applicable to other diseases. The dataset we built with this will be revolutionary for establishing the epidemiological curve for malaria in Asian societies. Said Jamie Inwood, a Yale graduate student in archaeology who led the research team. By understanding how this parasite reacted to societal shifts in the past, we can aid in predicting its future behavior. We can understand the way it has evolved. Washington, March 17, 2015, apart from their style, sunglasses have changed very little in the last few decades. Photochromic lenses that changed from clear to tint in sunlight were a big breakthrough. Now new research from ACS applied materials and interfaces could give that technology a big boost. Researchers at Georgia Tech have developed a polymer coating that changes colors with the push of a button. Jean Reynolds, PhD, and his team explained the sunglasses on demand in the latest episode of ACS, Headline Science. Klaus Gegenbach, Vice President of German Travel Industry Club, stressed on Wednesday 4th of March 2015 that Egypt is an incomparable tourist destination as it has its own irresistible magic. He expressed support for the efforts of Egyptian Tourism Ministry to promote tourism, which was hardly hit after the January 25th revolution and address challenges to pull more tourists. Gegenbach was speaking on the sidelines of ceremony in which Egypt Tourism Minister received Egypt's award for the best tourist destination. About the latest decision of the German government to lift travel bound to South Sinai, he said people who visited Egypt knew very well that the government fully secures its guests, especially in Hurghada, Sharm el Sheikh and Losur. Shares in Special Lender One Savings Bank jumped more than 8% today after it revealed that its maiden annual profits more than doubled thanks to strong growth in its buy to lad loan book and cost control measures. The bank, which floated on the stock market last year, said pre tax profits for the full year to the end of December 2014 rose to 69.7 million sterling, up from 30 million sterling in the previous year. 
The biggest driver of growth was its buy-to-let and small and medium enterprise business, which almost doubled in size to 2.1 billion sterling from 1.1 billion. Total loans and advances grew 29% to 3.9 billion, with net interest margin rising to 291 basis points from 211 basis points a year earlier. Legendary Canadian singer and songwriter Joni Mitchell was rushed to hospital after falling ill at her LA home. Mitchell is a smoker and once said that smoking has robbed her of her voice. The eight-time Grammy-winning musician had countless hits, including Both Side Now and Big Yellow Taxi. Bayern Munich were confirmed as German champions for the 25th time on Sunday as Wolfsburg 1-0 defeat at Borussia Mönchengladbach meant Pep Guardiola's Bavarians can no longer be caught. Gladbach Germany striker Max Kruse sent to the title to Munich as his 90th minute winning goal at Borussia Park. Gladbach Germany striker Max Kruse sent to the title to Munich as his 90th minute winning goal at Borussia Park so Bayern finished the weekend with an unsaleable 15-point lead with four games left. Bayern had picked up their 24th victory in 30 league games on Saturday when Bastian Schweinsteiger laid goals seal a 1-0 home win over Hertha Berlin at the Allianz Arena. American country singer Aaron Watson proved that hard work pays off. After spending 15 years in the music business, his 12th album, The Underdog, topped the U.S. country charts. Aaron is famous for singing about pure country life with topics like radios, fans, posts and families. Every rodeo fan died there in the rain, in the mud, in July and shy. Looking back, it doesn't seem so long. The Santa Barbara Zoo welcomed a new addition to its giraffe herd over the weekend with the birth of Asha, a 6 foot 4 inches, tall 182 pound calf. The tall baby was born March 14 at 4.55 a.m. Easter time and met fellow calf, Buttercup, a male that was born in November the following day. The zoo reports that Asha, whose name means life in Swahili, is nursing normally. This is the second successful pregnancy for Asha's mother, Betty Lou. The older giraffe gave birth to a female, Sunshine, in 2013. Sunshine moved away to the Phoenix Zoo last year as part of a cooperative leading program from the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. This program is designed to monitor threatened or endangered population within AZA accredited zoos and aquariums. The calf could be out on exhibit early next week if all continues to look good. The zoo's director of animal programs, Sherry Horizny, said in a press release, we need to introduce the calf to the other giraffes and to the outdoors, so it takes a while. We know people are anxious to see the calf, but it's really for its safety. This was our GUC News. Thank you so much for watching.